What's up, Kermit? What are we gonna do today? What's going on, man? What are we gonna do today? Give you a pat on the back. What are we gonna do? We gonna work out some physics today or what? Physics? High five. paintball, although light, when it's shot through a paintball gun, has enough force to knock over these cans. <laughs> and that is... <laughs> Check it out! Whoa, it's that is tight! Isn't this awesome? Yes! Dang! Alright, what happens when I spin this ball around attached to a string? around my head. It goes in a circle. But where do you think the ball will go once it... I let go of the string, huh? Huh? That way. Good guess, Matt. It goes in a straight line from the point that you let go of it. Circular motion goes inward toward the circle and once it uh, lets go, it'll go in a straight, a straight path. Another interesting factoid about Physics is a is a theorem uh, called free fall. Free fall is the rate at which an object falls towards the center of the earth and is measured in uh, is measured as 9.8 meters per second squared. Check it out. Awesome. That is awesome. The closer it gets to the ground, the closer it gets to reaching. It's terminal velocity. Okay. The ball in my hand. Ready? The ball in my hand was falling faster and faster and faster to the center of the earth from when Kirby dropped it off the roof. It was accelerating at about 9.8 meters per second downward. It was going faster and faster until it got to about right here. Right here is the fastest spot right before it hit the ground right before it hit the ground. As soon as it hit the ground, it stopped accelerating, and it might have bounced back up, it might have just stopped. We, we really don't know unless we do the experiment. Ah! Are you okay? Oh my gosh! All right, as you see in this video, this past uh, occurrences, the young boy, myself, was exiting his car and crossing the street, listening to music, not paying attention at all. I was hit at a speed of approximately seven miles per hour, and uh, so the force was great enough to knock me onto the car and then onto the floor. And uh, we'll take it from here with uh, my friend McKenna, who was driving the car. Hey. Hey. All right, Matt. Well, let's learn some basics about physics, all right? Sounds good. All right, sweet. Do you know what velocity is? No, what is it? It's the, uh, the change in the distance divided by the change in the time uh, of an object's motion. And that would be written in an equation as V equals delta D over delta T. Wow. Is there another equation for velocity? Oh, I don't believe so. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> oh, I was just wondering. I mean, I didn't know if there wasn't. Anything. Yeah, well, I don't know. If you find one, let me know. All right. Uh, how how about uh, acceleration? Do you know about that? Uh, all I know is acceleration is like when things speed up or slow down, right? Yeah, that's pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, we're sitting here in your car. It it can accelerate. Isn't so if we're just sitting in here right now, though, do we have an acceleration? 
No, sir. But do we have a velocity either? Velocity would be zero, actually. Because we're not moving. True that. And we're not speeding up or slowing down, so we don't so have any acceleration. Technically a constant velocity, so when an object has a constant velocity, there is no acceleration. Wow. F FYI. If there's any dummies out there, you're a dummy. Do you get it? All right, then, let's move wow. on. <laughs> Good job. All right, well, just so you know, to clear that up, any, uh, any misunderstandings, acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the change in time, or written as acceleration equals delta V over delta T. Isn't that interesting? That's cool. And I hear there's a bunch of other equations out there, like, what is this I hear about F equals MA? Oh. I think it has something to do with force, mass, and acceleration, but it might be force equals mass times acceleration. Well, I'm glad you asked that question because there are a lot of misconceptions going around nowadays and we just can't have kids out there, you know, miscalculating their physics. Um, and F equals M times A, to oh. clear that up for you, yes, yes. Um, for F standing for force, M standing for the mass. And, and A, A must be acceleration, right? Exactly. Exactly. And uh, easy way to think about it. If the object's mass is one kilogram and the acceleration is two meters per second squared, then one times two is, of course, two newtons. Force is measured in newtons. In newtons. Oh. Yeah. And mass is accelerated in grams, right? I'm sorry? Mass is calculated in grams? Uh, Units common misconception. Grams. Kilograms. Oh, kilograms. kilograms. Notice how we use the metric system. Word from our sponsor, Coke. Beats Peps every time. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Let's go. Oh, it's so oh. crazy in here. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna say? Um, do it, then I make you dance. Example, watch me make your fist beat on my hands. All right, gravitational force is equal. What is gravitational? Dude, still recording. What are you Hey, where's the little stop thing? Here? All right, you remember when we did that hockey table experiment? Yeah, what about it? Well, we found out that an object at rest will remain at rest, and an object that is moving will continue to move in a straight line with a constant velocity, if and only if the net force acting on that object is zero. That's really sweet. No. They were like pointing at each other. Woo! Double bounce. You see, Paul. You Bob gotta explain it. <laughs> 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 so what did we find out when we did the uh, transpoline experiment? I don't know. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Oh. We, we found that impulse is the product of the average force on an object and the time interval over which it acts. The product of an object's mass and velocity is called momentum. So, think about that the next time you go to jump on a trampoline and you get double bounced and you fall into a tree or you land right on the ground. You know, I never really thought about it that way, but it is kind of cool. What do you think? Speechless. The impulse momentum theorem. F delta T equals PF minus PI. The F equals force. The delta T is the change in time. That equals the final momentum minus the initial momentum. The impulse on an object is equal to the object's final momentum minus the object's initial momentum. So as the time increases, the force decreases.